What's up guys, now we're gonna talk about loops. This is actually a really easy topic. So a while loop, while this condition is true, int, int x equals zero, while index is less than seven, then it's gonna keep doing, it's gonna keep printing out the index is seven. So basically a while loop is basically while this inside condition is true, it's going to keep doing this keep doing whatever it's inside here now the thing is, is that if your condition is always true you get an infinite loop so look at this i never change index so zero is always less than seven so it's going to just keep printing out index is seven look at that so you need a this is just like stack overflow error in recursion so all you have to do to fix this is <clears throat> you need to make sure that your index gets incremented because before it was going to be zero is always less than seven I index is zero right now i'm going to change it now index i'm going to add one every time so now index gets added one every time so it's going to start here index is zero and then it prints out the index is seven then index adds gets add one then index becomes one and then it executes whatever is in this loop again so then it'll print out the index is seven and then it keeps going once it's six it executes this loop again so then it prints out because six is less than seven so it executes again and then it prints the index is seven again and then when index is equal to seven is seven less than seven no so then it doesn't execute this while loop so we're gonna have this statement's gonna get executed seven times one two three four five six seven i should print out the actual index so index starts at zero it goes one two three four five six it ends at six because the last index that gets executed is six because seven at seven seven is not less than seven so this inside doesn't get executed index the last one is six it might be confusing though like for beginners because you would think that this last thing index would end at seven but no, it ends at six. Now, if I set less than or equal to, index would end at seven. But then the number of iterations would be eight. <clears throat> so now index ends at seven, but there's the loop ran one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The loop ran eight times. And that's because while it start, index starts at zero, it executes this statement. Then once it's seven, it executes it again. So it does, zero one two three four five six seven so that's eight times this loop was executed might be confusing at first but you'll probably understand later like when you keep writing code now let's go over do while a do while is basically the same thing as a while except it executes first no matter what so if i put this so the difference about a do while is that while loops only execute if the first part of the statement is true so like while index is less than seven right while this first part was true it executed if it if index was seven this the statement would not get executed like if this inside was not true this would not get executed. but for a do while it will always execute no matter what if index were eight eight is greater than seven it's still going to execute once index is eight and then it stops it checks the condition afterwards so that's the thing you got to know about do whiles is that they will always execute no matter what now let's say if I said index is zero and then I run this code and then I said index is less than seven and then I start at zero and then I go up to seven and I keep adding by one. What would it execute? It's gonna go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like before, except no matter what in the beginning, it would always do the first statement. Now, now we're gonna go over for loops. So the difference about for loops is that you normally have three conditions. You're gonna have a first condition, which is your variable that you're incrementing your second condition is this statement is the same thing a for loop has the same condition rather than this being inside the while loop in these parentheses it's in here it's, it's the second statement is a while x is less than seven and their third condition is your increment normally it's like increment so here's what it's going to do i'm going to print out the value of x is so here's what it's going to do it starts at x sets says okay x is equal to zero then we say is x less than seven it is so we're going to execute this statement so x is going to be zero it says the value of x is zero then it goes to the, this condition and adds one is 
post incrementation adds one so now x is one then we check again is one less than seven is x less than seven is one less than seven yes does this again then adds one it keeps getting added until x is less than seven when x is seven is seven less than seven no so then it doesn't execute this so it's going to be the do the same thing it's going to print zero one two three four five six there's also something called the break statement so you could actually break out a loops by doing break so in this case it's going to execute this inside statement once and it's going to break it's going to run once see the value of x is zero break means you break out a loop you there's also something called continue which basically means it goes back to this condition it doesn't do anything afterwards so we'll see like nothing afterwards so it's basically gonna not execute anything here it's still gonna do zero one two three four five six so what continue does is once it hits continue it's just gonna immediately jump back to this condition so the value of x is zero right and then it goes continue so then it jumps back here the value of x1 continue continue once x is not less than seven okay once the statement is false then the loop exits continue basically goes back here and che checks it does not execute anything afterwards basically just jumping back to this previous so yeah that's all you need to know about loops there's another thing called a switch statement which just has nothing to do with loops so if you want to check if x is equal to one then you check else otherwise is x equal to two check if el else if is, is x equal to three else print out no so these are a lot of if else if else if else else if is basically just checking Okay, if it's not, if this if this in condition is not true, check if this condition is true. If this condition is not true, check if this condition is not true. If this condition is true, if this condition is not true, then just execute this. So here, I'm gonna print value is one. And then I'm gonna copy this over and over again. Value is two. Three. So x is ten, so it's just it's gonna say no. That's what it's gonna do. So that's that's if else if else of else. But there's an easier way to do this. All you have to do is a switch statement. So you just put your switch and put your value x. What you want to check? Then you do like case one. Then you do case two, case three then default you have to do break every time though otherwise it will just immediately execute the next statement so switch basically says okay is x equal to one if it is are you gonna execute anything between here and break so you're gonna say value is one otherwise is x equal to two if it is we set value, we print out value as two. Otherwise, is x equal to three? Then we print out value as three. Otherwise, we just say no. Default no. And then break, we, we don't need a break here. We put the break because otherwise it's gonna keep going to the next statement no matter what. So put no. Okay, now if I didn't have a break <clears throat> and the value was one, it's gonna keep executing the next statement. So here I'll show you. Let's say I didn't put any of the breaks. Then if the value is one, it's gonna say value is one. Then no matter what, it doesn't even check this. It just says value is two, value is three. And then if there's no break here, then it's just, it doesn't even matter. It's just gonna print no. So that's the reason why we have breaks. See, value is one, value is two, value three, then it prints no. So that's why, that's why, that's what, that's why we have breaks and switch statements. Anyway, that's all there is for loops. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.